Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle we are in the port city of porto and this unmistakably the estadio do dragao blue certainly the color dynamo moscow have opted for a 4-5-1 formation it appears jim well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through. And it takes a lot of pressure off your defense, of course, forces longer passes through the aerial route. So all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. We have already started here. Just brushed off the ball there. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Smolov. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Looks to clip it forward. And that has been cleared. And out to safety. In towards the middle. That's a case of crossing and hope. And unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. In the end, they found themselves penned in. Nowhere to go. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. They are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Neustetter drives it forward. His real chance! Hits off target and by quite a way. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Forward it goes. And he heaves it forward. Locomotive Moscow have it back and they can go again. And the counter is on. Laid back in. Oh, he shoots! And he's done it! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again.
Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Locomotive Moscow are in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Neustetter. Neustetter plays it forward. Caught offside that time. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And there is the half-time whistle. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very... Here we go again, then. Locomotive Moscow need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Gets into some space. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. <laughs> Tries to locate someone up front. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. And it's played forward. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. A really good feat from him. shot he's done very well to get to that well as Tesco Peter the keeper has just received an A plus grade pass needed to be better than that and he knows it half an hour gone in the second half Locomotive Moscow are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Gets his foot in there. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is.
It's on a plate. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. It's come through. Oh, it's open up. Hits one! And the ball has a hit! A real chance and a real let-off. Locomotive Moscow making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And time is up. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, the way the manager has stormed down the tunnel lends itself to an almighty telling off for such a, a timid, docile display. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.